Okay, so a couple of different ways that you can extrude. Here we've got a polygon sphere. If I select a component, face or edge, or even vertex, but that does something different. Let's start with face. And I go into the Move tool. If I hold down Shift, I'm able to extrude that face, which is different than merely moving it. So that's one. If you hold down Shift, extrude multiple times, you get multiple segments. And you can extrude whichever way that you want. You'll notice that by default, you'll be in object mode, or I'm sorry, object axis or perhaps even world axis, which gives you this kind of result. But if you want to be able to pull a face out perpendicular to the sphere itself, you want to change your axis. So I'm double clicking on the move tool. I can change my axis from world to component. And that allows me to use that manipulator to be at a perpendicular as opposed to just the object or the world axis. Uh, the other way of changing your axis is to hold W because of the move tool, hold W and then hold your mouse button over your selection like that. And then we can go object, we can go world, or you can go component. And again, hold shift and you will extrude it like that. Another way of extruding without doing the keyboard shortcut is to use the command. Of course, we'll be in the modeling menu set and under the edit mesh and there's extrude. Now, if you go this way, it gives you the same exact geometry, it gives you the same extrusion, but it gives you a different tool for doing it. And now we've got the extrusion tool and that face is already extruded but it's flat to the original object if i click away from it that's bad you don't want to do that you want to grab the blue arrow not not the uh the box but the arrow and pull your extrusion in this case pulling it every time will just adjust the height of the extrusion but if you go and click on extrude again, it'll give you a new extrusion. So in some cases, it's faster to hold shift and pull the faces like we did earlier. But sometimes you need to use the extrude command. For example, I'm going to delete this object. If I want to make a bowl, for example, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take the top half of this sphere and I'm going to select those top half faces and delete them and that's going to give me a bowl but it's black on the inside because of normals this is the front of the polygons these are the back and there's no thickness to it so one hack way one easy quick way to extrude this to give you some thickness to the bowl is to select the whole geometry and then use the extrude tool through the menu and there's that blue arrow pull that blue arrow a little bit and you're extruding all of the faces of that object and now you've got thickness to your bowl and that's extrude